Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams, a story about how toys become real. The sack had been left untied, and so by wriggling a bit, the Velveteen Rabbit was able to get his head through the opening and look out. He was shivering a little, for he had always been used to sleeping in a proper bed, and by this time, his coat had worn so thin and threadbare from hugging that it was no longer any protection to him. Nearby, he could see the thicket of raspberry canes growing tall and close like a tropical jungle in whose shadow he had played with the boy on bygone mornings. He thought of those long sunlit hours in the garden, how happy they were, and a great sadness came over him. He seemed to see them all pass before him, each more beautiful than the other. The fairy huts in the flower bed, the quiet evenings in the wood when he lay in the bracken and the little ants ran over his paws, and the wonderful day when he first knew that he was real. He thought of the skin horse, so wise and gentle, and all that he had told him. Of what use was it to be loved and lose one's beauty and become real if it all ended like this? And a tear, a real tear, trickled down his shabby velvet nose and fell to the ground. And then a strange thing happened, for where the tear had fallen, a flower grew out of the ground. It was a mysterious flower, not at all like any that grew in the garden. It had slender green leaves, the color of emeralds. And in the center of the leaves, there was a blossom like a golden cup. It was so beautiful that the little rabbit forgot to cry. He just lay there watching it. And presently, the blossom opened, and out of it, there stepped a fairy. She was quite the loveliest fairy in the whole world. Her dress was of pearl and dewdrops, and there were flowers round her neck and in her hair, and her face was like the most perfect flower of all. And she came close to the little rabbit and gathered him up in her arms and kissed him on his velveteen nose that was all damp from crying. Little rabbit, she said, don't you know who I am? The rabbit looked up at her, and it seemed to him that he had seen her face before, but he couldn't think where. I am the nursery magic fairy, she said. I take care of all the playthings that the children have loved. When they are old and worn out, and the children don't need them anymore, I come and take them away with me and turn them into real. Wasn't I real before? asked the little rabbit. You were real to the boy, the fairy said, because he loved you. Now you shall be real to everyone. And she held the little rabbit close in her arms and flew with him into the wood.